Imagine discovering that your wedding dress, the one you've cherished for 25 years, isn't actually yours. That's the reality for a Geneseo woman who recently opened up her preserved wedding gown, only to find a different dress inside. TV6's Wafa Ezip has a story. I think after it kind of hit me, you know, and we kind of joked about it, then I, the tears came. It's a moment many brides cherish, the first time they see their wedding dress again after decades. But for Faith Nelson, this moment turned into a shocking surprise. We just recently had our 25th anniversary, and so I thought maybe I should get my dress out and, you know, try it on too. So when I went to open it up out of its vacuum seal, um, cardboard box, duct taped up, I opened the little window that you can view the dress and I was shocked because it was not my dress. Nelson was expecting to find the gown she chose for her big day in June 1999 in Fort Madison, Iowa. But instead, she found the dress she didn't recognize, one with a JCPenney tag and a size that didn't match her own. Where I got my dress, um, purchased it, was at the Colony Shop in Fort Madison, Iowa. So she recommended it, taking it to I think it was called Collins Quality Cleaners in Fort Madison because that's where they box it all up for you. Strangely enough, the box did contain her original veil, but the dress was entirely different. Mine had like cap sleeves and this one had full sleeves. Nelson says it's more than just a dress. It's a legacy that she hoped to pass down to her daughters. It's not about the dress, it's about the marriage. But for me, the dress just means I have two girls. Um, I would like to be able to pass it on to them in some manner, um, whether they actually wear the dress or piece it, you know, for other things. In Geneseo, Wafa Ezzet, TV6 News.